Hi, this is Michael Bianconi from Southern Fire Guitars, and in this video, I'm going to take a cigar box guitar with three strings and one pick and show you a nice little strumming pattern. Now, the first thing you're going to need for this lesson is a three string cigar box guitar tuned to an open G. That would be G, D, G. Now this little strumming pattern has two little parts to it. I'm going to play them both right now so you can see it and hear it. And then I'm going to bring the camera a little closer and show you exactly what I'm doing. part of this little tune starts with the open strings as an open G. Then it goes to this D chord down here and the way I get that is I'm, I'm putting my finger on the second fret bottom string and the second fret top string leaving the middle string open. We've got open, and then this chord. Now what I do when I get to this chord here, since I have my pinky finger available over there, I'll go over two frets to the fourth fret and hit that while I'm strumming. So it goes like this. chord is a it's a C you're actually borrowing putting a bar across the second fret but then you're taking your pinky finger and going all the way over to the fifth fret you can see that but to get the little different notes I'm going from here and then my ring finger on this string here which is the fourth fret last string We got open. so it's open this D with the pinky and the C hand as far as the picking goes you can strum that you know any way you want up or down doesn't really matter whatever is comfortable for you but I'll play it one more time for you Now the second part to this little tune is you're starting on the open strings again on the G it's one measure of the open strings then you're gonna put your ring finger on your third fret bottom string and your index finger on the first fret second string and you're gonna leave the top string open So it starts out open. And then you're going to do a bar chord on the 
third fret. So we got open. Then on the end of this little measure here, I'll do this little rhythm part at the end, which goes, I'm using my ring finger on the fifth fret. On the last string, just the last string. So it'll sound like this all together. first pattern. part here you'll notice when I did it, I actually did it arpeggio I actually picked each note uh, the string so I would do it like this comfortable for you however you'd like to do it well I hope you have fun learning that new tune it's a little involved a little bit but once you learn it you'll play it for hours now what I think would be fun would be for me to play that rhythm with a drum beat and record it on my boss loop station down there then play that rhythm back through my loop station and play an awesome lead to it using this three string cigar box guitar. Hmm. Well, I think that would be uh cool. One, two, three, four.
My name is Michael, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.